What's going on everyone? No Zoop for you here, and I want to make battleships great again. I want to make their secondaries great again. In fact, I want to make their gameplay fun again. I want to give battleships a purpose. And I, I think a lot of you might have misunderstood my previous video about battleships and the death of battleships. I don't think battleships are bad. I don't. I don't think the Ohio's bad. I think I said it's a good battleship. I think I said the gameplay on battleships is stale, and that was the whole point. And the fact that they've been eclipsed by other ships and cruisers that can melt them. And, you know, many of you, I guess, either saw the title or, you know, just saw 30 seconds of the video and made assumptions based off that. That's cool. You know, whatever. This round you're watching right now. After some of the comments, especially some calling into question my ability to successfully play Battleships, I decided to make my first game after that video a Battleship game. And lo and behold, here it is. Tier 8, bottom tier against Tier 9s and Tier 10s, and guess what? I came on top of the leaderboard. Of course, because I know how to play Battleships. So, really, this is just kind of a giant up yours to the doubters out there. But... This is just to prove that you can have fun in battleships, and I, I had fun this round. Secondary battleships are fun. They're still fun to be had in battleships in the right circumstances. But it's not just battleships where the gameplay is screwed up right now. It's, it's across the board, and we know this, and I, I've got some ideas for some fixes to both battleships and the other ships that would make battleships a lot more fun again for those players who have lost that loving feeling. Now, that's not all of you. It's not. I know there's a lot of you right now that are still, ah, there's a little sneaky citadel all over that hill right there. There's a lot of you out there that have said you're still enjoying battleships, and that's great, and I am happy for you. I, I enjoy them half the time, quarter of the time, I, I don't know. I, I think at times I hate every single ship class just because there's something to hate about each one, but there's also something to love about each one. But before I get into that, real quick, real quick admin note. On May 20th, that's this Wednesday, if you're seeing this video before this Wednesday, May 20th, I'm having a welcome back stream. It's been forever. It's been like three months. I've had my twins for three months now. I, I can't believe it. And I'm having a welcome back stream at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. The cool thing about this is I hit 5,000 followers, so World of Warships and Wargaming has been kind enough to give me $500 worth of premium ships to give away to you all. So if you show up and watch the stream, you have a chance of winning a ship. You don't have to do anything except be there. You don't have to sub, you know, nothing stupid like that. Just show up and you could win a premium ship. And I'll pick some good ones. I'll, I'll stretch that $500 as far as I can. But now, on to the game. And <laughs> by game, I actually meant on to the topic. But yes, on to this game as well, where I am posting up on the BCAP. I'm, I'm actually kind of playing this round like a cruiser, which it worked. I mean, I'm doing things that I would have done in a cruiser, using the islands to mount up on, and I, I'm really not liking what I'm seeing over to the right over here. I've got my teammates that are kind of backing away, and I'm pushing in. I've got a Montana and a Stalingrad this way, but you know what? That's not the point of this video. The point of this video, before I ramble on too far, is making battleships and their secondaries great again. So, I've already covered the fact that I don't think battleships are bad. I, I think the play style has gotten very stale, and there's not much incentive to change that play style based on the other ships in the game. Smolensk, Stalingrad that can citadel battleships, it, it really doesn't make a battleship want to push, especially a more casual player. And that's why you see people hanging in the back, sniping still after five years, and that shouldn't be the case. Another problem right now is United States Navy, the, the tech tree line, has been eclipsed by every other premium out there. Not only that, it's, it's been eclipsed by its own premiums. So Montana, no longer a viable option when compared to the Ohio. Massachusetts outclasses the North Carolina, though North Carolina is still pretty good. Uh, even, even the tech tree destroyers, you've got better ships in there, like... Uh, like uh, Benham. Benham, much better than what you've got in the tech tree, though Fletcher's still good. So, we've got an issue there, and the same has happened with German ships and everything else. So, 
How do you make more incentive for pushing up? Well, in my opinion, HE shot at battleships from other ships, especially ships like Smolensk, other cruisers, Wooster. The chance for fire should be greater the further out you are. If a battleship moves in closer to you, you shouldn't be able to set it on fire if it's within 10 kilometers, as easy as you would at 15 or 20 kilometers. That gives the battleship incentive to push, and in reality, if you're firing your shells closer at a lower arc, they should be shattering against the battleship. So you're not going to set those fires. So I really think toning down that, that would be a good way to incentivize battleships to push. Make it harder for that HE to set fires up closer. And that would really neuter the small ones against battleships. Same for Wooster and other ships like that. Also, I think battleships should have manual fire secondaries built in. Give it to them automatically. And when it's not active, secondaries fire randomly as usual like they are right here, popping off in all directions. I think that would help battleships a lot as well, giving that to them. I, I don't think that's a high price to pay to help make battleships great again. And their secondaries. I, I think that should come with the ships. You know, don't make it a skill point. Just give it to them. Also, on that same vein, talking about captain skills, I think fi fire prevention should do more. If you pick that, I, I think it should either decrease the fires on you by more time or, you know, just limit the amount of fires just a little bit more. But right now, with the amount of HE in there, I, I think it just needs to do more. And that's my opinion, and you can take that with a grain of salt. Secondary should hurt more against cruisers. Destroyers, you know what? I, I, I'm i fine with them not hurting destroyers as much because destroyers are a smaller target. They move faster. They're harder to hit. So it makes sense that secondaries aren't as accurate against them. But against cruisers, if they get within a secondary's wheelhouse, these secondaries should hurt them. It should make them think twice about charging in and trying to fire HE. I mean, they're five inchers. How are you going to tell me a five incher is going to barely do anything against a cruiser? Yeah, over time it accrues, but still, five inches. I mean, it's not like these secondaries are inaccurate pea shooters in real life. They're five inchers. What your destroyers have. So I'd say they need to be just a little more potent against cruisers. Also, if a destroyer wanders into a battleship's wheelhouse and gets spotted within six kilometers, they deserve to get deleted. If a battleship lands a broadside against them, I don't care if it's AP or HE, that destroyer deserves to die. And this is the way it was prior to all these fixes that World of Warships did about two years ago. And it should be the same for cruisers too. I don't care what you are. Inside 10 kilometers, if you're caught broadside, you deserve to get deleted. You screwed up, not the battleship. The battleship pushed up close enough, or you pushed too close to the battleship. That ship deserves to be gone. And that's just not happening anymore. Like this right here. Bam. Pushed up too close. Broadside deserves to be gone. But that doesn't happen to all cruisers out there right now because of the mechanics and overpins. So that needs to be fixed as well. Now I know a lot of you destroyers out there are going to be complaining and saying, well, you know what? It's hard enough for a destroyer because radar and aircraft carriers. And you know what? I'm, I play destroyers equally. And I hear you, but guess what? I don't want to hear those complaints. Because if you don't know which tier 8 through 10 ships carry radar and what those ranges are, do yourself a favor and take about 5 minutes to learn it. That will help your gameplay enormously. Yeah, it happens every now and then getting caught by radar. But you should know what ships have radar by now and how to counter that. It's stay away. So, I, I have little empathy for destroyers that complain about radar, because I've been dealing with it, and I deal with it fine. Now, CVs are a different situation. That's just a pain right there, and all I can say is, just utilize your uh, cruisers, their AA. Don't push up as quickly. It sucks, but you know what? The, the rounds aren't going to be decided in the first five minutes of the game. They're not. You know what, the rounds are uh, going to be decided a little towards mid-game, unless you just really get rolled, which seems to happen a lot. So, those pretty much knock out the destroyer complaints I hear right now, and it goes back, again, to what I said. If, if, 
If you pop up against my battleship six clicks away trying to fire torps all stealthy and sneakily and you screw up and I can land a full broadside on you, you should die. You should be gone. You should be deleted. I mean, 16-inch shells, they're not just going to overpin. They're going to overpin and they're going to leave a five-foot hole in the side of your ship and sink it. And that's what should happen. So, there's that. And really, that that's what I feel can make battleships a lot better. And the gameplay a lot better. More engaging. The biggest problem with battleships right now isn't that they're a bad class. And yes, I feel that they're dying because of all the other cruisers and everything else out there. Maybe dying is not even the right word. But there's no incentive to play them. There's no incentive to push in them. And we need that incentive there. And Wargaming hasn't given it to us yet. They've given the incentive to the cruisers. I mean, destroyers, yeah, you can make the case that they've got it rough too because of the proliferation of aircraft carriers. But there's not going to be aircraft carriers in every single round. And a good destroyer captain is going to know how to avoid the things that they need to avoid. As far as radar is concerned, carriers are a little harder. But really, I think right now, out of all the classes, battleships kind of need that little tender love and care right now to get the players pushing up in them as they should. I mean, that's their job. You push up, you destroy cruisers, and they don't do that anymore. They can't do that anymore, because when they try, the cruisers just outgun them and melt them, and that should not be the case. I don't like it. I don't like it. And that's the end of my round right there. That's the end of my rant. I, I wouldn't say this is a rant, but... You know what? This was a fun round. Hung around the B cap, survived going against some tier 10s. Yes, I know how to play battleships. Yes, I'm good at battleships. I don't suck at them. Yes, I've got my opinions, and my opinions, I feel, are completely valid given the current state of the game. But I want to know what you think. Would you, do the, would you do the things that I said to make battleships great again? To make their secondaries great again? And to make gameplay great again? Would you do those things? Or what would you change? What would you do? You know what? Let's use this as a forum to get Wargaming to listen and enact some changes which really need to happen right now because I think a lot of players are feeling the fatigue. So, Anyhow, guys, I hope you're doing good. Hope you're having a great Monday. Hope you're having a great week, whatever day it is that you're watching this video. And I'll catch you all later. Keep the faith. We'll make every class great again somehow, someday. I mean, each class is great in its own way, but... They can be frustrating sometimes. Anyhow, thanks for watching. Zoop out.